guys. Just took a brief intermission so I could roll this baby and eat a little bit because I am hungry. I just got off work. So let's continue. Um, I guess I'll give you a little bit more detail about the program I'm in. Um, I work in a program called the Auxiliary de Conversacion and I pretty much teach or help teach um, students English uh, from a variety of ages. I have three primary schools that I teach at um, for about two to six hours a week. Um, and then I have one adult school, which is five hours a week. So I work about 15 hours. Um, my schedule right now is pretty good because um, I'm closer to where I want to, to where I'm working. Of course, like I told you, I moved again. Um, so I'm really close. My furthest walk is about a 20 minute walk to my school and it's along the beach. Like I think I have some videos I'll post you guys to show you the commute that I take to school every single day um, at my furthest school. Um, the town is kind of small, so there's not, it's not extremely well connected, but that don't mean nothing. I can, one monkey don't stop my show. I keep, I'm keeping it moving. Um, and yeah, so I just, yeah, so I'm sorry, I got distracted by my phone, but yeah, I just moved in here. So it's about a 20 minute walk to my further school and about a seven minute walk to my closest school. So I'm a token traveler. So what else am I gonna talk about then about what goes on in the Mercia region with, I'm gonna first explain to you Mercia's vegan, um, Mercia, the actual city, the capital city. And then I'm gonna talk about Aguilas. So in Mercia, it was great being vegan. Um, it was great being a weed smoker too because I had a friend. But I'll get to that later. So let's focus on the vegan part of Mercia at first. So there's about one, two, three, about six different places or five different places that I can suggest for you to go if you're wanting something strictly vegan or you're going strictly to a vegan spot. The first location that I tried on the first day arriving, uh, our first full day in Mercia, or Mercia is um, Veg and Roll. It, uh, it's like kind of a bar type theme. I just got like a sandwich, I think, just a basic sandwich. Um, and it was delicious. It was perfect. It's your vegan fast food. Um, the next place is gonna be, and I'm gonna write the list of all these places. The next location is gonna be Vegan Queen. Vegan Queen is actually um, considers itself a, like a fast food restaurant type thing. 95% of the menu is burgers um, or like finger foods and they have bars. They have pretty good deals. Like for 650 six euro, you get a beer and you get a, a meal with that. And it's a pretty good combination. I think that's good. That's another thing. Alcohol is really cheap here. Like you can probably get alcohol for cheaper than you can get water. Then the final completely vegan location that I want to suggest is El Jardin de los Dragons, which is the garden, the garden of dragons. It um, these all are within like a maybe a two minute walking, three minute walking of each other, and you can get all. Um, they're all completely vegan, so you don't have to worry about the menu. The menus are pretty extensive, especially the burger. The burger place they have like. <laughs> like all these different burgers dedicated to stuff like the volcano to like a frankfurter to all that it's delicious um el jardin they have a delicious non-chicken sandwich that is make you want to your mom i'm dead serious like amazing so i also tried some vegan vegetarian option uh, vegan a vegetarian places that had vegan options. Um, I had one place that I went to <coughs> that had a four course meal and it happened to be vegan that whole day. So I sat by myself and I had salad. I had <coughs> these tiny meatballs. Again, I'm gonna post all the pictures. I took pictures of all of the, most of the food I've eaten here. Um, uh, so for the non-vegan location, 
non-vegan locations that you can find in great vegan options. Uh, the first place is Mano a Mano. It's hand in hand. It is a pizza place. I believe it is a chain because I found another location in Cartagena, um, which is about, um, which is also in the Mercia region. <sighs> oh, God, I'm hungry. But um, it's also in the Mercia region. It serves non-vegan pizzas, but it also has variations of the options that the omnivore options and vegan options and it's pretty good i've been there about five or six times with different friends i constantly keep bringing people there because i'm like you're not vegan i'm vegan so we both can eat great the next place is going to be called calentico takeaway it's like a little deli and they have some um traditional um uh, Mercian and Spanish pastries in vegan form uh, with like seitan and um, soy chorizo and things like that. So you're not missing out. Um, you can try like traditional fare from here. Um, I also know how to make a mean Spanish omelet. So let me, I'll write the recipe down below as well. So you guys can copy that. Um, so, if you're not necessarily the junk food vegan, gluten free beer, it's pretty good. I was worried because I've heard some things, but mm, I'm being a fast right now, but I'm giving you guys raw me, right? Okay. So, um, the next location I would say is Super Sano. Um, or for groceries, if you're not looking to buy um, food out or want to have some balance. Grocery stores that have an extensive amount of vegan options or are kind of like co-op based. And they, you can even get cards for them. I think I have one of them from one of the places I joined. Um, it's going to be the Super Sano. And this is the card for them. And then there's also Gran Bibio which is pretty nice. They have um, a good amount of options for health um, and you can buy in bulk if you're looking to also add that in. For another option, which they're not completely vegan but have Omni options as well, is Marcadona. It's great. And also there's like other stores along the way, Dia, Carrefour, all these places are very good for you to find options for yourself as well. So with that being said, um, I've moved now to Aguilas. Um, Aguilas doesn't have any of these options and it's pretty far away from Mercia to take a trip to go eat at these locations. So I have been designated to cooking for myself. Um, I went to Lytle or Little, however you pronounce it, yesterday and I was able to get a vegan bruschetta pizza um, I went to another store and I was able to get um, a dried meal that you just add water to that comes, it's completely vegan, it had vegan listed on the menu. Um, I pretty much focused on vegetables and fruits, um, a little bit of snack food here and there of course, um, and just pretty much gonna try to eat like as non-processed as I put these chips in my mouth as possible. Um, being here, not saying on occasion I won't dabble if I go to Mercia, but there's ways of maintaining this lifestyle. Perfectly fine here, even though they love their hamon. There are plenty of vegan options. Um, the looks I get from the Spanish people when I tell them that I'm vegan, they would think there was no way you could live without meat. But I'm here, I'm kicking, I'm alive. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much just focus on grocery stores. They have a super nice Macadona here. They have an Aldi's, um, which is the Aldi's um, that we would know better, um, or what we would know better as Trader Joe's in the States, not the typical Aldi's. And um, they have some options as well. Um, I haven't been able to actually go to that location yet, but I know th from being in other um, Aldi's that they're pretty well-rounded, so I'm very excited for that. So now, 
let me light this because this has been going out. Maybe because I'm not talking about it enough or maybe because I've been eating and trying to do multiple things at once. Like look at my list and talk to you guys. So about the weed here in Mercia, starting with Mercia. So when I arrived in Mercia, I actually had a friend that I met on Facebook um, who had posted about smoking and actually knew somewhere to go so we like arranged a time and we were meeting up and we went and we got some weed uh, from this location it's actually a squat house um uh and it's considered in not the greatest area it's probably the equivalent to the projects in the states it's not like a bad area it's just there's a lot of people that are not wealthy in this area so there's a uh, assumption that there's crime which i got my weed there but that's, I'm gonna get further into this. So I found the squat house. Um, we went there and it was like five euro, around seven, five, six to seven dollars a gram. And um, I was getting it there. You can also get hash as well. Pretty awesome. Quality was okay. You only get one variety. So you don't really get much option. So this is typically like going to a travel house in the States. Like, you get one option from your weed dealer. Shout out to my weed dealer in the back of the States. No harm, no foul, just saying, you know, you didn't have options. So, with that being said, um, I made friends with another group of girls. And through this group of girls, I found out, um, which I had already known, there's social clubs all throughout Spain. And these social clubs exist um, to allow people to smoke, grow, hang out, um, purchase weed, things like that. So you pay like a membership fee and you join and you get to be there, um, use the facility however you need to. I had found that one was near where my schools were located, but since I had decided I wasn't going to be living there, I kind of was like, I don't know how I'm gonna go about this. So I was like, I would be using the squat house. But my friend was like, I went to Cartagena and I joined a club that I reached out to you and all I needed was my passport. They didn't ask me any information, nothing crazy. I can bring friends, but they can't like buy anything. They just have to let me know in advance and then I can select for them, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, Cause the rules are very, um, there's loopholes, but they're very like, a lot of these places try to keep or want to stay within the line, the guidelines. So you join, you're listed, they give you a number. You have X amount that you can get within a, a month's time and they have to record each time you buy. Um, you can grow um, in these some of these places. You can play video games. You can buy alcohol um, and purchase like snacks, like chips and drinks and stuff like that. You can buy wraps, uh, cigarellas, I mean, not cigarellas, but hemp papers, um, like raw papers, anything like that. And like they just have the weed behind the glass and you just pretty much get to smell it and do whatever. So, um, they're limited in how much they can sell you and they're also limited in like who they can sell to that's not a member. Um, you have to get a membership in most cases to even be able to purchase anything. Um, unless you're just going to a janky ass place. Um, so she joined the social club in Cartagena. I decided when I went to Aguilas, why not look into the social club? So that same day when I came to visit the house and do my first day of classes on October 1st, I also went by the social club called Noob9, which means Cloud9 um, in Spanish. I rang the bell, because I had actually seen a social club in Murcia and went on a like, goose chase with my friend and got like closed out. I'm not sure if it was due to siesta or they just didn't want us to come in. So, um, this time I was kind of anxious, but I was like, I'm gonna stay on my ground, I have my passport, like I'm gonna have my emails. So I walk in and I'm like, yeah, I wanna join. The lady doesn't speak English that well, but luckily the, there's a guy, the bud tender actually speaks English. So we start talking and he asks me for my information. He tells me that it's $30 to down and then it's um, five euros a month after that. <laughs> 
which is awesome. I'm totally down with that. That's not bad at all. So I decide to purchase a membership and now I can go in there and buy weed and get um, wraps and stuff like that. And I also have an area to smoke if I am out and about and choose not to um, come home. It's also two minutes from one of my schools. So I have a rough day, smoke it away. So with that being said, yeah. So that was the social club I joined here. Um, I went back to Mercia actually last week to get the rest of my stuff to move here to Aguilas and um, went with my friend and we actually found another, we found an actual location in or a social club in Mercia to purchase from. So Slowly but surely, we're losing the need for the squat house. Mm -hmm. Not a bad option to have in your back pocket because it's open 24-7. You literally walk into the squat house, look into a peephole, say I want dos cremas de la herba, give them 10 euro, they pass you the weed and you leave and you don't have anything to deal with. There are some sketchy people that are there, but you're also dealing with something that's considered sketchy. So you're gonna have to do some compromise. Um, but yeah, I've been here just smoking on this weed. Um, it's been pretty good. They have some good variety. They have sativa, they have indica. It's like kind of going to a dispensary or a coffee shop in the Netherlands or in a legal state in the US. Um, I've even like helped others and like given other people weed and stuff like that. Um, what else? Yeah, so that's been my experience. It's just been really nice, like finally getting settled in. I'm in my own spot. This is the first time I've lived alone. I will be honest that there has been times where I've like cried and I felt alone. I've struggled. I've put my, I've been in positions that I'm not necessarily happy about, but I'm working through it. Travel is never easy, but I think showing how you work through it and your resolution is the best thing um i try not to focus on like what has happened i just give you guys like a short overview because i haven't been posting that much but i'm just so happy to be finally in a good place with myself and a good place to be able to share with you guys and i'm so happy for you guys to be staying tuned I promise that I will continue posting more and more about my experience here as it develops, um, as I figure out things, um, as I travel within Europe, outside of Europe, and what I plan on doing. But thank you so much for watching. Enjoy.